Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Lotro with me, Barthelion. So once again, we are in Nan Kuranir, the Valley of Isengard, uh, where we're just outside uh, the Fang Riders Warren, I think it's called. Um, so we've got a quest to go back inside the cave, Greetings, where we have to go kill a Manglemore, which is uh, the Mummy Wolf, I mean, Mummy Warg, uh, Warg. The Lord of this pack of Mongols is called Manglemore. He is as terrible as they come. Okay, so it's a daddy wog. Uh, but you will be able to get close to him without the rest of the pack tearing you apart. Unless you can challenge him, that is. Wogs always choose their pack leaders in battle. Actually, this might be the one outside then. And usually have some place where they issue challenges to each other until enough of them has been ripped apart that the rest are too frightened to fight the one on top. No ranking wog can refuse a challenge, so if you step in there, they will fight by tradition, beat enough of them. And Manglemore will doubt, no doubt face you. So it reminds us back of um, way back in the Misty Mountains where we ended up fighting uh, the Wag tribal alpha, whatever you want to call it. Um, and uh, we spanked him pretty hard. Are you? Are you? You want the elf? She means nothing to us. The goblins came and took her down into their caves. God, calm down, Cave of Wonders, Aladdin. Is. There she will remain until they torment her to their death. Now right, go! Yeah. I shall not see the pact of one such as you. Challenge or no. Are you looking for the diamond in the rough whilst right? What is the meaning of this? Stop! No! I lead you! Grah! Um, but that's going back some time now. Um. So that's within the circle of fangs. So that is slightly north along the edges here. Um, but we also have some quests that are showing up inside uh, as interior quest locations. So I think we can now pick up those yellow items we saw last episode, um, which are quest starting items. Um, we'll just come over here first. So this actually used to be tricky back in the day. It's probably not going to be now with the uh, silly damages and whatnot. But as we can see, as soon as we enter this area, we have to remain within the Circle of Fangs. And we can see uh, loads of these wags have now appeared and surrounded us. And they're basically going to start challenging us one at a time uh, and rushing us. So we won't have too much time out of combat before the next ones come in. So you're, you know, what health you've got is going to be what health you've got. You're not going to be able to recharge really in between because you're not going to be out of combat long enough. And uh, once we've killed enough of these guys... Uh, the boss will come in here, so I'm not sure how many we have to kill. Do we have to kill all of them? But uh, yeah, back in the day when you didn't have stupid damage and stupid morale, um, this used to be a bit more challenging if you weren't able to heal yourself with some sort of healing skill. Um, but back in the day, most classes were generally able to. Um, back before things were separated behind different trait trees. So um, here we go. So here comes the boss. Um, who's going to be... Uh... Oh, it's not a signature, actually. Um... So, let's spank him. Hopefully before I run out of power. I might need to use second wind. Uh, a random wild rider is probably going to aggro. No, it's not. It's just outside. Okay, you stay there, sir. Uh, so, we're going to mount back up, head back to Ondor. Ondor's then probably going to send us back in the cave. And uh, then we can go get those other quests that are inside. Um... I mean, I'm trying to think of the, the exact quest order that would go here. Because I think we're going to have a few more quests around here. Then we go over the uh, the east side. And uh, meet certain individuals that are over there. Um, At your service and your families. I don't suppose that Wargs would ever accept you as their pack leader. But you have thrown the pack into chaos by killing Manglemore. They will spend days tearing at each other. Until they figure out who the ne next pack leader will be. Greetings, traveller. Will you stay a moment? So, you may have noticed that wags do not exactly make the best behaved mounts. Well, it takes a powerful goblin to keep them cowed enough to train and ride them. There's not many goblins I would consider powerful. Um, that is where the Master of Beasts come in. If you kill him, the rest of the goblins will have a difficult time keeping their mounts in line. Okay. Challenge accept. Uh, Master of Beasts, I believe, is going to be indoors. Yeah, it's going to back to me indoors. So... Inside we go. Um, and inside here we have to go. I'm trying to think. The cooks in the 
Who's in the first one? Master of Beasts. Is he further around in the north bit up here, I think? Um, I guess we'll soon find out. Um, but we need to see if we can pick up some of these quest starting items on our way through. Um, sadly, this guy's going to be ranged, so we'll have to kill him before we move on. Okay, bada bada bada. Right, so if we take our first left, this will take us um, back to the room where the cook was. And there was uh, a recipe on the floor, if I'm not mistaken, which we should now be able to pick up. Uh, so if we sneak through, but now we probably don't want to kill the cook himself because I'm pretty sure the quest involves killing the cook. So that would be most unfortunate if we killed him. Um, so murder this guy just because he's in the way. Murder, murder. Go on, hit him one more time. There we go. Um, Alright, sneak around the edge. Whoop. Can we interact with this now? We can, but we're going to get interrupted. Um, so this sinister recipe, this is obviously what the cook has been cooking. Um, based on the uh, the previous evidence, I think it's safe to say he's probably cooking horse. He's making uh, more horse burgers than Tesco. Uh, recipe for disaster. This unusual goblin recipe calls for a number of strange plants that grow in the area. Though you have no urge to sample goblin cooking, there is something about the recipe that nags at you and you wonder if it might prove useful in some manner. So we need to collect wart blooms, bloodcap mushrooms and cramp roots. These are all going to be outside in, in the, uh, the valley. Um, so from here we're just going to carry on going north because we have another quest starting item in the room to our north which is the, uh, the butcher's blade on that uh, poor horse corpse um, where it's literally buried in his, uh, in his throat. How lovely. Um, so murder this guy. But uh, I don't know if you guys have been paying attention to the latest news that's been coming out with the uh, the legendary server that's meant to be launching in November. Um, but originally, that myself and a few others speculated it could be because they're counting down on their Twitter feed uh, the updates in in reverse order. So they started with update 23, and each day they're counting down one update. So a few of us thought. Maybe that's counting down to a particular date. And if you did that and you counted down to day zero, you would have come up with uh, Tuesday the 13th of November. And Tuesday is normally an update day for, for Lotro. But apparently, they, they announced on the slide shortly after I posted that, that it's actually coming out a week earlier on Tuesday the 6th of November. Um, which is unexpected. Um, a bit sooner than expected. They didn't really announce that with its own proper fanfare tweet or announcement or whatever. It was just kind of buried as a, like a little footnote in a different tweet. It was a bit strange, but uh, hey-ho. Um, but we've still got a lot of things that we need answered about that. There's still a lot of questions that people are, are trying to find out. Um, but there's not really been any groundbreaking news uh, on that front. So, um, a rare cut. This terrible butcher's blade has taken a deadly toll upon the noble steeds of the Rohirrim and the tithed cattle of the Dunlendings alike. No doubt the villainous butcher that wields it is somewhere nearby. Dispatching the fiend might be considered some form of reprisal to honour the mounts of the Rohirrim. So, uh, we are looking for the butcher. Mr. Butcher, you in this room? I can't remember. Um... Maybe not then. Maybe he's in one of the other rooms. And I've aggroed something. Oh, there he is. Hey, who's messing around in there? There we go, murder him. We're going to take out this uh, poor goblin that's decided to stand up to me. That never ends well for any minion of uh, Sauron or, or Saruman or indeed anyone. Um, so we shall murder him. There we go, defeated the butcher. Now that quest is auto completed. And granted me some uh, reputation with Phaedrid's Riders, which is always welcome. So now we're going to go upstairs and we need to go fight the Master of Beasts. Um, so, murder, murder, murder. Um, so we haven't actually gone any further north up this corridor yet. But there's at least one, maybe two little side rooms. Nothing like these big ones here. It's more like, smaller than even the walk room. Uh, so we've got one on the left here. Um, so he's not in this room. Murder him. Uh, 
carry on. So this bends now to the south, and it will bend back around to the north, and eventually we'll get to the top. Is there one more room on the right here? There is. Uh, there's just a gobbo in here, nothing special. Another room on the left, which does lead to a room. I think this is the room we need. Wild up there. So that corridor goes around, it goes up here, and it goes out to uh, like the, the exterior of the valley again. I think we've got we needs in this room. If I'm not mistaken. Let's see him find out. Is he over in that corner over here? Yes, there he is, the Master of Beasts. So we're going to take out all these guys first. Because uh, we don't want to get too greedy aggroing all the bats. Because the bats are just going to slap me with fears that's going to disarm me or make me unable to attack. So I'd rather not have that while I'm attacking uh, 50 million other things. There we go. So Master Beasts, he has 22k, which is quite a bit. Um, there we go. The bats have actually managed to die before they've done any nasty status effects. That's always good. Um, but they have actually debuffed me over a load of nastiness. Um, that wasn't the button I wanted, but whatever. Um, so we need to talk to Ondor and Nenko in it, hand in the Master of Beasts. And now we need to get uh, some balloons from outside. So I think we might as well carry on our exploration um, of this area. So if we carry on south and turn left, we can follow the corridor through to its natural conclusion. Um, which will take us to the upper part of um, the camp that's on the western side of the valley floor. Um, so there should be no more side rooms. This should be literally it here. There we go. That's the exit. That's a dead end over there. Um, so there you go. That's your final layout. So you can enter here. You've got your, your wag area here. You've got the area with the cook here. You've got the area with the butcher here. The area with the, uh, the master of beasts. You've got a middle exit here which takes you into the lower part of the camp. You've got an upper exit here which takes you into the upper part of the camp. So, step outside. There we go. And if we just mount up, if it will let me mount up, it's lagging a bit. So we actually need to be outside the camp for all these bits. But all these flowers should grow in this kind of area. Um, I say flowers, they're like nasty mushrooms and things that normal people probably wouldn't eat. But goblins don't really care. I mean, I'm, to be honest, I'm surprised goblins eat plants at all. You'd think that they're going to be exclusive uh, meat eaters, you know, just eating man flesh or something. Um, so there we go, downstairs, basically going downhill. We'll find our way outside. We'll probably end up building a little bit of a mob train behind us. Um, we'll see how bad that gets. So uh, I think a couple of the, the mushrooms and stuff we need should actually be growing literally just outside this door, to be honest. Um, so we're going to go out here, just murder whoever stood behind this door as well. Um, there's something glowing over the side there. Come on, come close to the door so the other guy comes in. Okay, he wants to go over there for some reason. God damn it. I was hoping if I... <laughs> I was hoping this guy might come over towards us because I've engaged him in melee combat. He was uh, fighting me in melee. I was hoping he'd follow me over rather than staying at ranged. So there we go, there's a, a cramp route on the left there. We'll grab that as soon as we've got this. Um, if this guy ever actually dies. There we go. Um, so grab this. That's probably going to grow the wild rider. Yes, there we go. Or at least we managed to pick it up before we got interrupted. Um, so floating names are going to be your friend on this uh, quest because otherwise it's going to be very hard to see the sparkly effects around the. Uh, various mushrooms while you're going around the valley. All this like foliage, these uh, roots and stuff is going to make life very difficult. Um, so apparently there is one still up there to the northwest. So it's probably north of the gate that I've missed. There it is. So we only need two of these. So there we go, that's two. So any other cramp roots are now going to be removed. So they're basically the ones near the entrance to uh, the camp basically. Um, then we need five wart blooms and three blood cap mushrooms. So we want to head kind of south, maybe a bit east, um, to get down there. So it's everywhere just basically east of the uh, the cave entrance that we originally went in where Ondor is. Um, so if we keep our eyes open, there is a blood cap, which looks like the uh, the mushrooms you used to get out of Moria, the, uh, the ones that 
the fungal mushrooms that make you sick and you can get as a housing item which literally makes you uh, be sick everywhere and throw up on the floor which is uh, lovely um, so not you just because you decided to aggro on me and let's have a look around what have we got so still a big square area that we're looking in um, as we start picking things up that area might start to get smaller if there's uh, certain things not in certain areas um, God damn it! I don't know who keeps messaging me. Um, as I get random tells constantly. Um, so where are we going next? Um, got another water bloom over here. Still going to keep the area as a big square, and let's have a look. So they're generally going to be near rocks and stuff, or, or stumps and trees, so it can make it a bit difficult to um, to find bits and pieces, or buried in a bush like that. Yeah. So it's going to be very hard when I'm selecting it, otherwise you wouldn't be able to see it, but I'll show you with the next one. And it can be very, very difficult to find. Uh, something to the north, there we go, we've thinned out this area a bit. Um, so, what do we got? So, yeah, let's murder this guy. It's a ton of floating gnomes. I mean, you can see it reasonably from this side, but if you, if it was behind the tree like that, you are not seeing that item at all. So, yeah, with, with floating gnomes on, at least you can see it there. Um, so, it, it definitely does help. Um, no, you're not getting off of your Healy induction, sir. Uh, two warp blooms, two blood cut mushrooms. Did I not pick it up? There we go. One more bloom. I wish you could pick these up though without having to get dismounted. It is a bit of a pain in the backside. Um, yeah, I don't know if you guys have been participating in the fall festival this year. Um, there has been some issues with some of the daily quests. But uh, it has been pretty interesting on the whole. They've added a whole new uh, maze area. And, um, basically, it's like uh, the Halloween version of, of a special area like. Um, What's it called? Um, Frost Bluff for the Yule Festival. It's not as big as uh, Frost Bluff, but it's a smaller area. It's like a little harvest field. It's kind of haunted. Yeah, you've got a, a maze which changes every day um, from one of five different... Uh, I've gone way too far south. Um, from five different templates, it just rotates like every day. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Um, you can probably find those maps on the wiki, or at least uh, if you Google it, I'm sure... It's, it's been all over social media, so you should be able to find the links to those if you need to uh, work out what is your best daily route each day. Um, but if in doubt, your best bet is probably to ask in world chat which, which of the maps it is today, and uh, someone will probably know the answer. But um, yeah, but I always find the Halloween festival is quite a nice one. I was always uh, quite fond of the old um, um, the, the basement bit inside uh, Bang End that's kind of haunted and that. It's uh, quite a bit of fun. If you've never done that before, I do suggest checking it out. And there's yeah, some quite nice rewards. Every year they're always adding new cosmetics. Um, you can usually always get the old cosmetics as well. There's usually always a, a new steed that comes out every festival. Um, if you haven't uh, got ones from previous years, you can still pick them up. Although it tends to be that if it's a really old steed, you might need to pay Mithril coins instead. Um, so, you know, it's generally a bit overpriced in that regards I would say because I think they charge pretty much 70 mithril coins for any of like, the old retired steeds that you can't get anymore which is a lot really for, for generally a, a bog standard steed granted you could um, buff yourself up if you've got the, the journeyman or, or apprentice riding traits that increase the, uh, the mount speed of all your mounts then um, you know, you, you could slightly increase your mount speed, but otherwise, yeah, it's a, it's a lot of miffle to pay for a horse unless you really, really like that cosmetic, basically. Um, there's no plants over here. God damn it. Um, just need two more blood capped mushrooms. So all, all these air ones in this area should be blood capped mushrooms. There's one. Let's see if we can grab it for our friends uh, Agronus. But uh, yeah, the new, the new maze is interesting. It's kind of like um, 
more alike to uh, the spring hedge maze. Um, whereas that one is fixed, this one has, has five on rotation, so for those of you that have maybe memorised the, the hell out of the spring maze, um, this kind of adds, adds a bit of variety, but generally you can probably still learn the layouts or just have a copy of the map um, on your screen anyway to, to assist you with navigating your way through. Um, but either way, you know, it's something new. You can never complain about something new. Um, but I always find the, the, the full festival tends to be one of the better ones for, for earning tokens. Um, particularly if you're going to spam the festival with orts. So uh, you can generally get everything you need. Um, anyway, let's hand these in and uh, we'll probably wrap it up afterwards. So, a recipe for disaster. Greetings, traveller! What strange draft you have there! It looks vile! Let me have a sniff. Ondor's face blanches as he catches the odour. What manner of poison is this? Let me see the recipe. A spice? What madman created this? It would fell an ox if you could get one to taste it. I will um, be grateful for your assistance. So he's going to give us uh, a quest to go and uh, poison the cook. Um, and we've got Master of Beasts. At your service and your families. Varg riders may not be the uh, maybe the strongest amongst goblins, but their mounts are hard to control. With the Master of Beasts gone, this band will have a difficult time mounting up for a while. Um, because they're spontaneously going to forget how to ride a wag. I mean, admittedly, they probably wouldn't be able to train up new uh, mounted goblins, but the existing ones should still be capable of riding, surely. Um, so what have we got? We have uh, a waistcoat, we have some boots, um, and then we have a bracelet and a ring, which we can't really see any cosmetics for, so um, just select any of those. And uh, we shall finish this episode literally stood exactly where we began at the start. So uh, we'll stop there and carry on with this next time. So I hope you guys have enjoyed yourselves. And until next time, I will see you guys later.